Welcome back to another installment of the Viral Podcast. I'm your host, Chelsea Lynn. And I'm your host, Paige Jen. Glad to be back. Thank you, uh, rock fuckers, for listening. We appreciate you tuning in on another Tuesday or whatever day you are getting around to listening. Yeah, love you joining the broadcast. Thank you for joining the broadcast. Um, you guys, I'm on tour. <gasps> Really? Okay, I'm on tour right now, and I've gotten a few DMs from people saying, wait, if you're on tour, are you guys not going to be filming the podcast? <laughs> Listen, we are doing a little bit of pre-recording some stuff. I will come back on tour if I have a couple days off here and there and record pods. So you guys will be getting pods every week. She okay? flies in. Yes. So now this week and a little and a little bit of next week, I'm going to be in Charleston, South Carolina, West Palm Beach, Florida, Orlando, Florida, Ponte Vedra, Florida. Am I pronouncing that right, Beth? Well, how's it pronounced? Ponte Verda. Ponte Verda. Close enough. You guys know what I meant. And Albany, Georgia. Get your tickets at eatmytrash.com. And um, I wanted to announce, Paige and I have been doing slits only. Now, if you're, if you don't follow us on social media and you're like, whoa, what's slits only? What is slits only? (laughs) What's slits only? Paige and I have been doing weekly. We're on what week? We've done a few, several weeks now. We're on like week nine. Something like that. I Um, I made that up. Oh. (laughs) He sounded believable. Little mini viral podcast episodes that we post for our subscribers as extra content and extra pod content mm-hmm. um, for our my Patreon and pages OF. So the the um, episodes last anywhere from ten to twenty five minutes. Yeah, we'll and, do like a full episode of trivia, a full just whatever we come up with. You could go on there and give us ideas too. Mm-hmm. Full episode of calls. Full. We we make each week different, and we have a lot of ideas coming up that I cannot wait to film. Oh, huge um, surprise! I'm like really, I'm like actually really fucking excited about it. Um, but these mini podcast episodes will not be posted anywhere else. Um, so please go to our social medias, click on our link in our bios, and give us a sub for extra viral podcast content. Yeah, and also I started a. I spy my little brown eye. And I'll put my butthole, you know, like I spy when you're a kid. Mm-hmm. And you have to find the yeah. object. You can go on there and look for my butthole. That's great. So you just take a picture, insert your butthole somewhere, and people have to go on and find the butthole. Mm-hmm. Genius. I want to make a whole book. It's genius, Paige. <laughs> I'm not kidding. That's great. I spy my little brown eye. I loved those when I was a kid. That's great. Wow. Okay. So that's for slits only. And um, I know we talked about a little bit, a little bit about this before we started the pod, but you guys, when I get off a tour, you will have a new podcast studio. For you guys watching, you'll have a new studio. It'll be bigger. It'll be better. We'll have space for guests. For breathing. <sighs> for breathing. Um, and it'll sp- still be the same podcast that you guys know and love. We are going to have a little bit of, you know, refreshers in terms of like um, segments. We're going to have some new segments and some guests. So please hang tight. People are freaking out though. Why? They're like, the reason why you guys are so successful is because of who you are and what you guys present. You guys are just going to get a new studio, start having guests. I feel like you're just changing everything. You, uh-huh. you, yeah. No, we're not going to have guests every was, episode. And I was like, dude, they think we're going to go into like a place with velvet curtains and shit. We're going into yeah. a basement with, <laughs> doesn't even have walls. And Y'all, stuff. it'll still be a room in my house and the guests will be Greg. <laughs> and so, <laughs> so calm down. <laughs> Okay, we're not getting bougie on you. Yeah, and we're not going to have guests every week. No, not at all. But I do think we need, like, 
some people that are very smart. Yeah. And cool. Yeah, just because, like, we're kind of dumb. Yeah. Well, speak for yourself. Yeah, I'm kind of I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm really dumb. dumb. I'm really dumb. <laughs> <laughs> but Greg's been dying to be on. People mm-hmm. have been dying. So let's just say it'll still be the pod, but we're going to mix it up a little bit. How yeah. about that? How about that? Yeah. Okay. Well. Well, allergies. Hey, honey's allergies here. Yeah, I don't mind my uh, voice. You sound fine. You sound great. Didn't even notice. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> well, do you have anything else you want to say or should we let someone I, else speak? Uh, who should we let speak? You know who I'm thinking. Who? Brett? Brett, would you like to go ahead and lean forward? I think we need to normalize oxygen tanks. <laughs> <clears throat> like why is it that we only give oxygen to the people when it's their last days and they want to live like maybe a year longer or something um man <laughs> <laughs> like they should have like instead of puffing on weed pens or like oxygen pens you know it's cold air but go ahead something like that no but like the you know Everybody should be pulling around, I feel like, an oxygen tank so they can breathe just really good oxygen. Um, um, <laughs> I just peed. I just peed. peed. Is the beeper going to go off? Or? <laughs> Hold on. Oh my god! I almost Ooh. shit, dude, because I know poop today. <laughs> For once, Brett didn't want to talk. He got I, too high. I peed my pants. <laughs> I wait, couldn't wait. remember what I was going to say. <laughs> Brett, you after... said instead of vape pens, it'd be great if people right. just walk around, you know, sucking oxygen. Yeah, that's air, bro. Well, they do have oxygen bars. I do think that's a great idea. I think L- our oxygen's limited. Listen, it is. You and I go in the oxygen chamber chamber all the time. Mm-hmm. I started sleeping with my mouth taped shut to get more oxygen through my nose. So I, I see where you're coming from. You just maybe exec- worded it kind of. Yeah, you know. there was something I was going to say, and I was like, oh, damn. Go ahead and say it. No, I can't remember what uh, it was. You know yeah. how we could get people? Uh. All of our old uh, weed vape pens just say, hey, this is oxygen. Yeah. We, Sell got, them. Got he. Yeah. Got he. Hey, should we play, Brett, should we play your full Lean Forward song? Yeah, that'd be sweet. Because we haven't done that. Mm. Go ahead and roll uh, it, Brett. Well, damn, I don't have that pulled up. It's a banger. We'll wait on you. Okay. I got to yeah, we'll change on the Bluetooth. Um, we launched that on Slits Only. We played that on an episode of Slits Only, I think. so. It's a bang, oh, bang, 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 bang. Dude, it's or... good. You rolling yeah. it? I, I got to connect oh, okay. it to my phone. When you listen to it... um. This is a time for you to get what you need done. Yeah. So if you need to fold laundry or something mm-hmm. right now, just do that. Yeah. If and you really jerk off, whatever. Re- really listen to the lyrics as well. Oh, good, meaningful lyrics. And a good, good bop. You really feel like dancing. I mean, it's honestly, Brett, you did wonderful on it. I'll give Thank you that. You. It's doing good on the monthly listeners. I'm wow. at 564. So that's pretty good. Okay. Oh, it needs to be up, Brett. Here we go. How am I going to know when I'm done? The timer will go off. Sounds good. Sounds good. Sounds good. Holy shit! Just a little. Never seen the other side of the moon. The The moon. moon. The clit looks like a wishbone. Wishbone. Thing I wanted to discuss were words. words. Your eyes are part of your brain. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just kind of grip it and rip it. It's a blower. The key to a good podcast is to have good sponsors. How can you be addicted to weed if you always forget to smoke? I found out you don't need a license to drive. Just drive. Water's kind of interesting. Just like collect it from the sky and drink it. The earth.
Earth might be flat based on the fact that I lived in Kansas for a little bit and it's pretty flat out there. We're saying that 200 conquistadors took over all those Mayans. I don't know if you've ever saw Apocalypto, but you know, a lot of those guys are pretty tough. And I think they went underground to all those underground cities. Oxygen is really important. It's not talked about enough. Social experiments are pretty interesting. It's kind of rigged. to that neighbor for the other day. Sorry for stressing you out. Brett, this is your dad. Time's up. Lean back. Damn. <laughs> that was good. That was good. Uh, Maggie looks like she's at a party type. right now. OnlyFans.com. <laughs> it's the cup. Yeah. Slash Brett. Brett, that was the other, hey, that Brett. Was the other no single. more promos. No, no more, I didn't know. No I more self-promotion. No, no, no more music. The camera will tell. I went to the... I was like, oh. Uh, no, no more Brett Boone Productions. <laughs> No more fake mess ups. Oh, it's Brett Hole Records. <laughs> He's like, oops, I accidentally oops. did that. You think I'm that smart? <laughs> Brett, lean back. Okay. okay. All right. All we right. We need a cot in here so Brett can just roll it out and <laughs> take a nap. Just go to sleep while we're filming. <laughs> oh, damn. Okay. Don't get in your cot. Well, honeys, do you have a DM? Well, uh, yeah. Let me What's look. What's the DM for the day, honey? Oh, well, we'll tell you. What's the DM for the day, honey? What's the DM for the day, honey? I've got a really good DM, and I do want to bring up real quick the fact that Paige said she heard a call. We can't find it now. Or a message or something. It was a mess. I can't remember. Message, call, whatever. And how this girl was like, I feel so bad for Chelsea. We tried finding the call. We couldn't find it or whatever, the message. This girl was like, I feel so bad for Chelsea because, Paige, all your messages are just people wanting to fuck you, and all Chelsea's are are people being mean to her. Insert the clip of somebody saying, Paige, I hope you break your fucking neck <laughs> right. when you fall. Right. Well, here's the deal. I share the DMs that I want to share with you. I think the mean ones are funny. Um, I have people trying to get up in this pussy constantly. Let me tell you that. Okay? I will tell you <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah. All right? Um, so I thought, okay, well, you guys want a sexual one. Let me uh, go find one. I hopped on Facebook. This was the second message. Wait, hold on. Before you start, and I'm not reading these messages to be like, huh, this is, you know, yeah. to get at you or to get at anybody. Honestly, I'm just usually trying to find a message last minute. Yeah, you're good. Um, my message is from a guy named Gilly. Mm, cute. Okay. And he says, is everybody ready? It took me five seconds to find this message. A court would only be a portion of how much I would make you nut. Be much more going on than just getting your nut off. You're not running off without cuddles, sweetheart. Skinny guys love our thick women, and you have always had my eyes on you from the moment I saw you. I would absolutely love to get to know you and take you out. Gilly. <laughs> You're not running off without cuddles, sweetheart. I, that's my favorite part. Gilly. So it seems like a cool dude, and it seems like he would really, really try to make me nut, which is great. That needs to be on the back of a t shirt. You're not running off without cuddles, sweetheart. <laughs> yeah, that's cute. Gosh. He was actually like really nice. How do yeah. I get to my photos? Hey, honey, just click on it. Okay. I'm clicking. Oh, I had a video to show you, but I don't know if I should. What is it? You almost have to now. Is it shit or farts or something? Or blood clots? Keep scrolling. Okay. Because I know it's a clot. Okay. Just read your DM. Hold on. I was in the bathtub. You're going to love it. No. It's an aerial view. I won't show her. No, show her. No, Brett. Brett said an aerial view. (laughs) Is Is it a clot? Yeah. I can't, Paige. It's a fart. I was in the bathtub and I had to fart. So I said, Brett, come film me. I have to fart. And a and clock came out. I replayed the video and I'm like, what the no. fuck? No. I want to see. Fart I'll watch clot. it. Okay, I'll send Lord it fork, to you. Lord Fart Clot. I can't. I can't do it. It was bad, Chelsea. Oh. No. I didn't even see it because all the other clots. In the- oh, my God. God okay. damn, they were, Brett. They were like, what were those things? Okay, this person said, <laughs> well, I'm just going to read 
three. Okay. <laughs> sure. Because they're really short. This person said, you're so grubby. Hmm. I don't know what grubby means. I don't know either. I'm on it. Thank you, Brett. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Brett. What does grubby mean? Here we go. Oh, and then I posted me, I said, I started a project that led to another one, and this guy said, welcome to adulthood. Next time, try changing brakes on your car. What? He got wow. mad. Got he got mad, mad at you. Because I posted a picture of plaster. Brett, what's got grubby mean? Dirty. Oh, cool. Yeah. Grimy. Hmm. And this person <laughs> said... Did you know elephants have human-like titties? And sent me a picture of this elephant with tits. I, I thought they sent you a picture of, my, of me. No. With my tits. No. Look at those. Oh, elephants do have titties. Aww. That's cute. Well, I never knew that. I never knew. I never That's have seen awesome. them. Baby elephants are my favorite animal. <gasps> they are. Babies. They are. They're like um, really smart, aren't they? Or something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Big time. Um, I'm going to go ahead and announce rock fucker of the week. Rock fucker of the week is <clears throat> drum roll, please. Julie highs, honeys. You are rock fucker of the week. Uh, Maggie will reach out, get your address. We will send you a piece of merch and real quick. I want to let everyone know we're kind of doing our merch different now. Um, if you get on the oh, yeah. website, if you noticed, we got rid of 90% of our merch designs. Um, we're trying to get better t-shirts and get better quality control. So our stuff is no longer print on demand. We're pre-ordering it. So instead of you going on and just getting whatever you want, we're going to have drops once a month. Merch drops once a month. So just be ready and on the lookout and make sure to follow the socials. Yes. Get that merch drop. Yep. We're trying to get you better better quality t-shirts. So we're doing merch drops now, which is annoying for the people that just want to go on and get what they want, but you'll get a better t-shirt and, and yeah. So be on the lookout for merch drops pretty much. I think it's going to be fun coming up with the month or the shirt of the month. Oh, big time. Oh, it'll be awesome for sure. Yeah. Okay. Well, should we do a couple of little trivials or do you want to get started in the, on the, uh, on the uh trivia trivia a yeah. couple get trivi get trivi uh huh get trivi get trivi uh huh fuck me uh-huh. get trivi get trivi uh oh that was great <laughs> best been working all morning on new questions so here we go first round of trivia I feel like Pat Sajak. Geography. Purple. Geography purple. Is that a dark purple? purple. This dark, dark pu- light. light purple. Oh, it's light. a light purple. Yeah. purple. Okay. Geography, right? Yeah. That's right, Brad. Okay. Yeah. Holy. In what ocean is the Bermuda Triangle located? Atlantic. You're very correct. Come on. I think I know that. Huh. Okay. I'm, nice job. Thank you. I'm spinning. Yeah. Go ahead and spin. Oh, wow. SNL dark purple. Purple. Here we are. Snell. Dark Snell. <laughs> hey, Brett, you're supposed to say question number, er, question number two. Question number two for trivia. Um, what are the names of the two current weekend update anchors? Don't know. Huh? Sorry. Wait, what do you mean? <laughs> That's a segment on uh, SNL. Yeah. I don't Dennis know. Miller. Uh, it's uh, Colin Jost and Michael Chi. Mm. I've never even heard of them. Yeah. yeah. I love okay. that Beth's in here now, and you can be like, that was a dog. <laughs> yes, before. No. Here we are. <laughs> what happened in Vegas, Red? What happened in Vegas, Red? For question number three of Trivial. Go ahead. Er- Go ahead. Er- oh, erected in 1951. Name the famous neon cowboy sign outside the Pioneer Club. Oh, shit. You got me. Name the sign. Yeah, I guess he has a name. Huh. Never knew this. John Wayne? I'm just going to say Dallas. Wayne Newton? Vegas Vic. I ne- I've never heard. He was, that's when he was erected. I didn't know. Hmm. Okay. Good to know. Current events red. Current events red. Question number four. A zoo owner. Yeah. Spiraled out of control and entertained the world in 2020. What was his name? Huh? What? You know that one show with the tigers? Just read the question again. Oh. Okay. 
<laughs> but yeah, tiger. Give it away. A oh. zoo owner spiraled out of control and entertained the world in 2020. What was his name? Um, fucking. Are you talking about Tiger? Tiger yeah. King. I just posted him in my story this morning. What was his fucking name? I can't ever remember his name. <sighs> Hold on, dude. Why can't we think of his name? <sighs> what was his name? What? It, um. What the hell? Carol Baskins. What was Grab it? Her? You want the first name? Yeah. Joe. Oh yeah. Joe Exotic. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wonder, yeah. wonder what he's doing now. Hey, he's in chilling. prison. He's chilling. Yeah, we discovered that on yeah. Slits Only. Yeah. 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 I didn't know that. Mind blowing. You can play two sound bites at the yeah. same time. Uh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's, Try three. That's good to know. We learned that like two years in. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. One more question each. Yeah. Here we go. Pop culture yellow. Pop culture yellow. Here we go. Having uh, scroller problems. Okay. Pop culture yellow. Who is the most followed person on Instagram? Well, is it that soccer player? Selena Gomez? I, the, I think it's that guy. The um, I just don't... Rinald, R- Cristiano Ronaldo. Way to go. <coughs> Thank you. Isn't it weird to oh. think that like hundreds of million people f- follow you? 546 like, million. Like, that's weird. I've never yeah. even heard of him. He's the good looking soccer dude. I don't know I, nothing about it. Yeah, yeah. I, I... Yeah. How many I'm, followers show does you a he pick. have? Half a billion. Whoa. 546 million followers. Should we follow him? That's more than Should the entire <laughs> United he, States. He's got so enough fun. Can you imagine if all he was posting was like farting videos? <laughs> 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 he just posts pictures of like his family and I stuff. I can't even find wow. him. Wow. Wow. Okay. He doesn't even have oh, to go CR. that far. Cam's okay, spinning. Here we go. Brett. Yeah. Pop culture. Pop culture. Yellow, Brett. Pop culture, yellow, question number five or six. Okay. When is Mean Girls Day? Wednesday. It's October... Uh, October 1st. 14th. Third. Ah. Oh, yeah, duh. Fuck. I, why is that a duh? That's a good because, question. Because she says, what day is it? And he goes, it's oct- or she goes, October 3rd. You remember that? Uh, Whoa. Yeah. Right. It's a big one. It's impressive. Yeah. All right. Hey, I'm ready to get in calls. Are you oh, guys? Oh, yeah, big time. Hey, Brett, look at me. Hey, Brett, <laughs> hey, yeah. roll that beautiful bean footage. Or, I mean, Maggie. Oh, yeah, I, for, I forgot it's Maggie. Not Brett. I forgot Maggie does it now. Hold on, hold on. Hey, Maggie. I forgot hey. Maggie does it now. Maggie. Ma'am. Hey, ma'am. Ma'am. Roll that, that beautiful, beautiful bean, bean footage. footage. Our next product is a product I use literally every day. I started taking AG1 because I have a hard time swallowing vitamins. So with the quick scoop of the AG1 powder and about 8 ounces of water, I can get that sucker down easy. And it has a vanilla taste. Tastes really good. And you can also mix it in with your smoothies. I really enjoy doing that too. And it just gives me the vitamins that I need for my everyday life. And the best part is... With just one scoop of AG1, you are absorbing over 75 high-quality vitamins, minerals, whole food-sourced ingredients, probiotics, adaptogens to help start your day right. This special blend of ingredients helps support your gut health. And you know our shrimps are singing, so we need the support. It also helps with your nervous system, your energy levels, your immune system, recovery, focus, aging, and just all the things that you need in your daily life. Contains less than one gram of sugar, no GMOs, no nasty chemicals, or artificial anything while still tasting good. It supports better sleep quality and recovery, supports mental clarity and alertness. It's also cheaper than getting all the different supplements yourself. Right now, it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition. It's just one scoop and a cup of water every day. That's it. No need for a million different pills and supplements to look out for your health. To make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. 
All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash viral. Again, that's athleticgreens.com slash viral to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. Athletic Greens is a climate neutral certified company. <laughs> do we have to read that? Hi, ladies. Concerned friend here. So I've called a couple times already, but hopefully this one gets played. Um, my friend, I have a really good friend. I've been friends with her since, God, probably kindergarten, first grade. We've grown up together. Um, so she was going out of town and her dog had puppies. And I told her I'd dog sit for her since they were only a week old. I'd just go make sure, you know, the mama's being fed well and um, the puppies have clean mats and stuff like that. So she gave me key. I go into her place. Mind you, she has cameras on the outside on the ring. And then she has cameras inside, which she likes to keep an eye on her dog. So I walk in, and I was literally greeted by the biggest cockroach I've ever seen. Not ever seen, but how cockroach I've seen some out and about in Arizona. But I see these cockroaches. And I, I continue to walk in, and I'm just like, you know what? I'm not going to say anything because she'll hear me. So I didn't really look around. I did see her house. It's messy. Um, but when I went down to, like, go check on the puppies and look at them and get them, um, there were hundreds of cockroaches everywhere just like tiny little ones like wandering about like it was literally traffic of cockroaches like I didn't even know if I should step on them at this point it wouldn't make a difference um there's big ones small ones and she had like an electric um food dispenser for her dog which of course there's cockroaches in that too I felt horrible leaving them like that so what do you do in this case? Do you tell your friend, hey, um, should I, would you like me to come help you clean? Like, if you have a cockroach problem or, uh, you know, like, I don't want her to feel judged, but I also know that this isn't a way for somebody to live, like, infested with cockroaches. And she lives in an apartment, so I know cockroaches in apartments are hard to control because if it's not you, it's your neighbors, and definitely she's not helping the situation. So that was just concern what would you guys do in this situation and yeah i love you ladies and i listen to you my one of my bff got me into you guys and i have literally benched every episode um hope you guys are all well and oh yeah oh yeah Aww. oh thank you honeys Wee! Wow, cockroaches. I don't know much about them. Hey, I'll just go over there and slam them all with my titties. Oh, yeah. You might have to get both tits working. Right, right. Um, God, okay. Oh, all right. They're you, hard to get rid of, I know. If you're, if, okay. She went over to help her friends watch her dogs while her friend was gone. A lot of roaches in the apartment. What would we do? What Would we say anything? I wouldn't. Because... She knows she got roaches. You're not telling her. Can you imagine if she told her? She's like, what? <laughs> like, I haven't seen them. I haven't seen them at all. <laughs> she, what was it? She knows she has roaches. Oh, yeah. Um, She's probably mortified to have you even go over there to check. You know what I mean? That's embarrassing. Um, She either probably has tried doing, you know, like, yeah. Um, I wouldn't say anything. That's just me. I also wouldn't judge because I've, we had roaches growing up. Knock on wood, I haven't had roaches as an adult. But um, especially living in apartments. That, yeah. I mean, you're right. Like, sometimes it's not you. Sometimes, you know, like, I'm sure she's tried getting this under control. She did say her friend had a really dirty house, which, oh. you know, a lot of people with mental health or mm -hmm. you know problems like that could deal i don't know how to how to word it but yeah. they could let their house go or be really in a rut or yeah depressed so i guess you could reach out in that sense but as far as keeping the house clean yeah it would probably just go back to that so i don't know if you want to waste your time going over there and help because right it might right. not. 
That's a tough one. And, yeah. it, and it depends on how close y'all are. Mm-hmm. Do you know if for a fact, like, if I went over to, to Pages and I saw a roach, I think we're close enough that I'd be like, damn, bitch, you got a roach crawling across the kitchen island. <laughs> You'd you know be I mean? stomping them. You know? You'd hear just, whoop, <laughs> <laughs> um, I will say this. Greg and I were in Austin not too long ago, and I don't want to name the restaurant. It was a famous restaurant that we were at, and we were sitting there eating. And this big old fucking roach crawls across the table. Ooh. And Greg's like, oh my God, there's a roach. And it was crawling across the table. He was like, what do we do? And I was like, I'm finishing my rib. <laughs> I don't know about you, but he ain't going to stop me from doing shit. <laughs> He's just walking. He's just trying to, you know, get from A to B. And that's what I'm trying to do. I ain't worried about him. So, yeah. I saw one too at this place in Vegas. It was on. It fell on its back and couldn't roll over. Giant. Fell like from the ceiling onto y'all's table. I just was eating my breakfast and I look over and it's on the other table, just trying to roll. Damn. It was a couple inches long. Ooh, that's a I, big one. I didn't want to be like a roach because oh, other people in the restaurant. Yeah. So I just told the waitress, "Hey, uh, yeah, <laughs> see gotta... that thing over there? Oh God." Good way to get a free meal. Did y'all get your meal for free? Yeah. Yeah, I, d- I told her she didn't have to do that. So yeah. then I just tipped her yeah. big. Yeah. Man, we had roaches growing up. They're hard to get rid of, correct? Or they all they it? are. Also, our house was disgusting. So that was like why. Um, our grandma was just pack rat and just we lived in filth. So I've talked about that before. We had roaches growing up. Oh, and I remember being a kid and I remember thinking. Ooh, I ain't never going to have roaches when I grow up. So. And you haven't? So far, no, but you never know. You know. They're around. I've worked They're around lurking, around. waiting to come inside. They're waiting on that They're door lurking. to be left open for them to. I've worked at a restaurant and there was some roaches. Really? Like, in the back. And yeah. Nobody said shit. We'd all just kind of like work around them. <laughs> hell, <laughs> hell, stick a she, stick a chef's coat on a roach, make that motherfucker flip burgers. <laughs> <laughs> you know. If they're gonna hang around, if they're gonna hang around, put them to work. And you, some of them are big enough. Imagine just owning a restaurant though, and they're just lurking. Dude, imagine you put your heart and soul into a restaurant (laughs) and all your money, and all your money, and fucking some bitch comes in and she's like, "There's a roach on the table." Fuck, dude, leaves a yelp. Oh no, I know. know. Then you have to get that fucking tent over, and then everyone knows you have roaches. That's why they put under new management. It's because they want you to know, like, hey, we're, we're turning a new leaf. No more roaches. Huh. At least I think. Who knows? It's just the, it was the husband owning it, then it's the wife. God. Roaches, yeah, disgusting, man. I don't know. That's a tough one. I think it depends on how close you are with her, to be honest with you. Maybe just reach out and see how yeah. she's doing as a friend. And just, be nice about know. it. Don't don't say, damn, bitch. <laughs> I, I, there's <laughs> lots of roaches there's in like the a food. Million, there was a million fucking roaches in your dog's food, bitch. Like, you know, that's a sensitive subject. So maybe just be like, hey, honey's roach problem here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just <laughs> say that. <laughs> say that. Just text her that. <laughs> just knock on her door and go tell her. Yeah. Oh, yeah. good times. Or could she... Yeah. You could be like, uh, have you seen that new TikTok on how to get rid of roaches? <laughs> Stop, Cinder Brad. Send Chelsea's video. <laughs> hey, you want me to send this bitch to your house? <laughs> She'll kill every fucking one of them. She's an exterminator. <laughs> oh, man. Well, thank you for calling in, honeys. Thank you for supporting the pod. We love you. Love you. Do women actually get turned on when men lick their boobs? Uh, let me know what you guys think. Mm, love a male caller. And he's wanting to know. He's sent in a quickie. Do women love when guys, did he say suck on or play? Lick Lick their boobs. Their boobs. Oh, I'm going to say yeah. Ooh. What you thinking? I mean, lick the boob or or the tit. The nipple. Suck on the nipple. I mean, uh, I'm not big. I don't like when spit is on me. The I can feel it. It's true, and and then especially f- Brett, <laughs> especially Brett. Like I don't know. He grosses you out. Yeah, no, it doesn't gross me out. But I just feel, I feel guilty sometimes even fucking him. Why? Well, G- guilty. The narcissism. <laughs> 
Because I'm like, dude, if he's not going to change his narcissistic ways and then, like, I'm fucking him, I'm just kind of <laughs> like, damn. You're, 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 um, you're. The daily battle. What's the word I'm looking for? You're giving in to, you're supporting. Is that the word I'm looking for? What, is that what enabling. you mean? You're what? Yep. Enabling. Uh, enabling well, his narcissism. May or maybe he just thinks, oh, everything's good because she's yeah. fucking me. But yeah, but you're horny, right? But damn, dude, you're sleeping in my bed. So yeah, yeah, you're getting. Fucked. I mean, it's kind of her every time. She's like, hey, you want to go fuck or? No, not every time. That's reach. <laughs> that's way a reach. Right, even out of that's a reach. That nut. That's a reach. She's addicted to the nut. Um, my my nipples are really sensitive. I don't like touching, like rubbing on my nipples. Oh God, it makes me sick to think about. But I love a suck. I love a suck on my nipples. I'm afraid mine are going to start looking like a mom's nipple. Like a... Long? <laughs> like, yeah. Long titty. Not just from sucking. Well, th- how do moms get those nipples from but, the sucking? Because the baby's sucking on it nine hours a day for eight years. Thanks, Chelsea. Eight years? I was years? trying to tell her this <laughs> stuff. I'm like, the yeah. man's sucking on it for 30 seconds yeah. during sex. That's not going to be... Yeah. You know what I mean? And I think long nipples are in. Fuck it. How long we sprucken? Well, I don't know how, I mean. Because when he does it, it's like he's trying to get milk out and then it pisses me off. So you suck hard, Brett. (laughs) Yeah. Brett, don't suck hard. Don't don't. suck hard. If you're going to be sucking on nipples, don't suck hard. Yeah. Okay. Hey, do I have a booger? (laughs) No. No, you're good. I don't like a a hard suck either. I like a gentle suck. Um, But I don't, Maggie, you love getting your tits sucked on. No? I could take it or leave it. Okay. I don't, I'm not like, ooh, suck my titties. Yeah. Can yeah. you imagine saying that? No. <laughs> ooh, suck my titties. Beth, you love it. I love it. Yeah. Beth loves and it. She, she just wants to get straight to the starfish, really. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> well, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. So I guess it depends on the woman. It does. Mm. Just, you know, maybe ask, hey, do you. Yeah, do you want me to suck hard? Do you want me to try to get something out of there? Or do you want me to keep it gentle? You know? I'll Nothing be a gentleman. All. Just communication is key, really. You know? Great question, though. I love that question. It was great. Thank you for calling in. Wonderful. Thank you. So I just found this number on somebody's Tinder profile. It was the only thing in their bio. Now, she's really cute, but is putting this number in your Tinder profile a red flag or a giant red flag? Thanks. <laughs> That's I'm, awesome. I'm obsessed with Who this. Did this. Somebody put this motherfucker swiping on a Tinder profile, and this bitch had our phone number in her bio and nothing else. And he called it and left a me- and left a question. <laughs> the red flag is you asking if it's a red flag. Yeah. The red flag is the fact that you haven't swiped and said you are a down ass bitch. Let's go to Applebee's. Yeah. And then 69 after. And then fart in my mouth. Huh? (laughs) (laughs) Wait, huh? Could you imagine? Ma'am? Could you imagine? Ma'am? No. People love that shit. Getting fecal matter and farts in their mouth. Can you imagine what that tastes like? A guy asked me on Snapchat, hey, what would it take for you to fart in my mouth? And I said, just a fart. Just just a prepared fart. Just have your mouth there when I, I rip. Yeah, yeah just yeah. be there. I guess you in my location. <laughs> just be there whenever I rip. Yeah. <laughs> I told him that. That's it. <laughs> Nothing more, dude. <laughs> wow, dude. Oh, my God. Well, you, I think that's a great idea. If you don't know what to put in your Tinder profile, put the viral podcast phone number. Because if they don't approve of the pod... In any capacity, bye-bye. Yeah, then you don't approve of them. Then you keep swiping. Oh, yeah. Keep swiping left, right, whatever. Keep swiping. Swipe on those hoes. Don't, you know, they have to approve. It is cool he called. It's great. He actually sounds like a cool dude. Does it say something when you call that number? Yeah, it says, it's me and Paige. It's <laughs> we, It's a voicemail that we go, hey, guys, leave us a voicemail. Ask us anything. <laughs> Uh, it's the viral podcast. You can tell. Yeah, it's us. Should we call okay. us? I was going to say, I'll call it after and see. Yeah. We do need to update it. We do. 
Yeah, we, we'll give them that. Yeah, we'll, we do need to update it. We'll, it's kind of cool, though. It's like yeah. all static. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A lot of wiring. And yeah. we're like, don't fucking call in your car. And we're like, leave. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we will redo that. But that's great, man. If you're listening, if you're now a fan, thank you for calling in. And thank you to the girl for spreading the word of the podcast. Oh, dude. You guys are spreading yeah. the good word. We're continuing week after week to take over the world. And we mm-hmm. appreciate you guys. Thank you. Love you. Hey, honeys. Bad Instacart shopper here. So I just wanted to call it and tell you guys what I did the other day. Um, I Instacart full time and I Instacart at a place that's right next to my house because it's convenient. I don't usually have to do shops that go very far, and I just prefer that store. I know the store like the back of my hand. Well, starting a couple months ago, this guy started shopping there. He's an Instacart shopper, too, and he is kind of a dick. Like, he knows that I'm an Instacart shopper as well, and he'll park right next to me, and, like, he'll get a batch. Um, A batch is basically just like a shop. You know, you shop for somebody. And he'll, like, put his phone up to me and, like, show, like, oh, I got this badge. And he's, like, I don't know. He's just kind of a jerk. So <laughs> the other day, he just kind of fucking rubbed me the wrong way. I was in the store doing a shop, and he was in there, and he bumped his cart into mine. He's, like, oh, sorry. Like, he's just kind of, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, so... I was so, I was pissed at this point. I'm like, you know what, this has been going on for too long. This guy's in competition with me. I don't know why. We both do the same job. I try to stay professional. But I was fucking pissed this day. So after I did my shop, I went out to the car. I took a napkin and rubbed it up my fucking ass crack. And I rubbed it along the handle of the door of his car because I was out there before he was. And... (sighs) That's out of my character, but, and I know it's kind of wrong, but fuck him. Fuck that motherfucker. And I wanted to stick around and watch his reaction when he opened that sweaty, <laughs> but crack juice door, but nah, couldn't. Gotta, you gotta deliver those groceries. And oh, well, I sanitized my hands for all you all wondering. Um, so my question to you is, is there anything that you've done before that is kind of out of character? or kind of gross, and that you never told anybody about. Anyways, love you, honey. Oh, yeah. Love you, honeys. Wow. I didn't know it was so aggressive. Dude. In the Instacart. Dude, imagine being so lame, you create Instacart drama. What? Even, I thought Instacart was you could buy stuff off Instagram and put it in your Instacart. (laughs) I I didn't know it was a whole business. No, honeys. Are you being serious? Well, you know on Instagram, the Instacart? No. This is like Postmates, but for grocery stores. Oh, wow. It's a whole thing. So, like, yeah, if you if you don't want to go to the grocery store, there's Instacart, and you can, like, add lettuce, ketchup, whatever, and they'll go in to the grocery store, get your groceries, and deliver them to your house. Yeah. Okay. yeah. It's like 15% more markup, it says, on and average, it, to do yeah. And yeah. it doesn't just go to, a, like, a random person. You Can you choose your person? Because why would he be like, look what I got. I got a basket. I don't, I don't know. I've only used it once, like, mm. here recently, and I actually loved it. I was like, whoa. We were at Maggie's house, and I was like, oh, I want ice cream, but I don't want to go to the grocery store. And they, somebody delivered it, and I go, this is luxury. Wow. Yeah, that's Instacart. Because I'd love to pick somebody who, because, you know, you like to go and, like, fill yeah. the avocados so I don't know I, if you could have a person that was just solid and could choose them. Yeah. That'd be cool. I don't think you can because uh, I think it's like you know um, Postmates. It's just random. Okay. Yeah. But this motherfucker is creating Instacart drama, and she's had enough. So she wiped her ass crack juice on his car door handle. She, which you know, I say, hey, if he really, if he really got to you that bad, he might have deserved it. I With a know. napkin, though. With a napkin, yeah, yeah, yeah. a little barrier. <laughs> he delivers the groceries, then all those people have E. Oh. coli. Oh, I didn't think about that. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah not getting a basket, not getting another basket. Well, and that's why people should 
wash and sanitize their hands on a regular basis because you never know who's mad out there spreading ass juices on places you wouldn't think. Your handle, your car handle. I bet it's everywhere. I bet it's everywhere. So have we ever done anything out of character, out of... uh, Yeah, absolutely, I think. I'm trying to think of something, though. I remember something that was out of character for me, and Maggie and Beth were there. What? Oh, gosh, what is it? No. What happened at Sonic? Oh, I've oh, talked about that. Yeah, lick I licked the, the cheese. person's cheese. That's Sonic. No, like I'm not a very confrontational person, or like I don't like fight with people. But uh, we were at Taco Casa in Durant, Oklahoma. Remember this, Maggie? Was it where the girl stirred the tea with her arm? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> with her arm? What? Remember she was like stirring scary the movie? tea. <laughs> No, different time. Okay. I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> With my strong hand. <laughs> I don't remember that. We went in there. We were eating. It, it was real dead. You know, it was like maybe after lunch time or whatever. She was stirring the sweet tea with her arm. The full arm was her in the... Her fucking arm. Wow. Holy sugar shit. The and I was like, I'm never getting another fucking sweet tea oh from here again. No, Gosh, this... All the peach fuzz? Uh-uh. The this... sweat? Oh. This was when, when me and Greg first got married and moved to Dallas... And we had come up to visit you guys, and we all met at Taco Casa in the parking lot. It was like a Friday night, and they didn't allow drag, Mm -hmm. the car drags. So we pulled up. Lola was a baby, and I think it was me, Greg, you, Lola, and Beth. Bet you might have been there. I remember. And anyway, we pulled up to see each other, and we pull up, get out of the car, hug each other, and I guess the management thought that we oh, were like yeah. teenagers hanging out on a Friday night, which mm-hmm. you're not supposed to do there. Loitering. Yeah. We were just out there, you know, hey, you know, loitering. And the manager came out with the biggest fucking attitude. Oof. I had, I mean, I saw red. Like she could have been like, hey guys, you guys can't hang out in the parking lot or are you going to come? Anything. She walked out and was like, I'm calling the cops. Get off my pro. I mean, get off my lot. Just and it and I saw red, and I don't think y'all had ever really seen me yell at somebody before. Maggie, do you remember this? Barely. Beth does. How old were you? I was probably twenty-two. Okay. You were eighteen. Yeah. So and I don't yell. I didn't. You know. And I just saw red, and I think I just fucking unleashed on this bitch. I can't remember what I said, but I was screaming at her. Like, shut the fuck. I was going yeah. nuts. And Mag- I turned around and Maggie and Beth, the- literally, I turned around from yelling at her and Maggie and Beth were like, scared. <sighs> like, eyes wide, looking at me like, who are you? They're probably wondering what the fuck was going on. Because so, it's not every day somebody comes out into the parking lot saying, I'm going to call the... Because back then, we, like, didn't say fuck. Oh. Or no. we didn't, like... Fuck. You know what I mean? We much. didn't talk. We didn't talk the yeah, way we talk now. Right, right. Really? Right. Not really. I used to not say fuck at all. Oh my! Gosh. I remember the first time Chelsea said fuck in front of me. It was like opening up a gate because mm. I've always said it, but like I never said it. Yeah. You, did you feel good? Like a sense of relief? I was just like, I, I'm gonna say fuck now. So I think <laughs> I. So I think they had never seen me like freak out that way, and I don't do that often. But they were kind of shocked. That's some stuff like that's out of character. You know, mm-hmm. I wouldn't say I do stuff out of character a lot. Can y'all think of anything that, that I've done out of character? I can't think of anything. Yeah. Mm-mm. I would say for me, maybe just like when I went to work really hung over one time and was just taking orders, running to the back, puking a lot, and then going back out like nothing happened. Yeah. Well, sometimes you got to do that. She sometimes. can rally. Yeah. yeah. But I don't know if you should be handling food. Yeah. You. Yeah. But yeah. it's not like I was sick. No. I was just hung over. That's different. Yeah. Well, hey, honeys, I hope that he leaves your ass alone. And if he creates more drama and bumps into you, I would literally just say, hey, man, you want more ass juice or are you going to leave me the fuck alone? Next then, time, take a shit on his hood. Whoa. No? I say, yeah. But that's just me. But seriously, don't put up with his shit. Just say, hey, you know, you want more ass juice? You can leave me alone. And maybe they'll get them thinking like, ass juice? Wait, <laughs> wait, is that Nasty. what I smelled? I feel like sometimes people mess around like that, though. That just might be who he is. And he might be trying to, like, be fun. Yeah. And it's just pissing her off. He's, yeah. like, thinking it's all good. <laughs> can you imagine? Imagine this. I'm an Instacart shopper. Okay? Me. I'm sitting in front of a Kroger. 
The car next to me is also an Instagram, Insta, Instagram shopper. <laughs> it's me. It's you. And we don't know each other. It's me and you. And I get a, I get an order. And I'm just looking at my phone waiting. And I'm like, ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> I would love you. I would love that. Got one, bitch. You gotta go shopping. Fuck you. Oh, dude, that, that, that would be dope. That would go be work awesome. Go for Instacart for a day. I know. And then you're in there and you're just smashing into the cart, into my cart. Dude, we should Instacart. And do that. Do what he's doing. I think that's funny. This could be a Tammy skit. I think it's funny. A real life Tammy skit. Wow. Okay, honeys. Well, whew, thank you for calling in. Love the drama. If you have drama in your life or have a cool story, always let us know. Oh, yeah. Okay? Thank you for calling in. Love you. Love you. Hey, honeys. Big fan here. So my husband has a butt trumpet for an asshole, and I just wanted to play a fart for you. Oh, God. Mm-hmm. Morning. Morning. I wouldn't clap for that. That didn't sound real to me. You don't think that sounded real? No. And Did I, you I, hear him breathing in and, the back? And I know what he was. After yeah. he let released it, he went, Ugh. Yeah. Did you hear what he said before he farted? Did uh-uh. you put that together? No, it I It sounded couldn't. like he said, hey, honey. Like, no. I thought he said something hey, like, I can honeys. do this for eight seconds. That sounded like a YouTube fart. You have, mm. Do you have it still up, Maggie? Yeah. Should we play it again? Yeah. What did he say at the beginning? That's Let's I'm, listen. Should we listen to the yeah. whole thing or just go back to the fart? The, the whole, whole thing. thing. The whole thing. Hey, honeys, big fan here. So my husband has a butt trumpet for an asshole, and I just wanted to play a fart for you. And it took a second to get the phone back up for her to say, oh, yeah. That's a fake fart. It what? sounded like a recording. It, I was, it, did, it was a recording. Now, she could have recorded. That could have been him, her recording a fart from earlier. But that was not a live fart. I know yeah, that for a fact. That was fake. I know that for a fact. Yeah, I agree. It could have been that fart guy. Hey, we should all. She uh, could have found him. They got that. Oh, yeah. Shane. <laughs> <That does this. laughs> the tr- he's the butt trumpet. We need to see what he's up to. <laughs> he's know. probably in my DMs right now if, sending. <laughs> if you guys are early listeners of the podcast, you know who the fart guy is. Wow. Well, I mean, thanks for calling in with that. If that was real, that was good. It was good. Long. It sounded like a creaky door. It sounded like he really pushed it out and was really holding his breath and pushing the whole time. I wonder if he sucked air up before he did it. I don't know. I think he made it with his hands and blew on his body. That's what I was thinking. The first time I listened to it, I go, he yeah. for sure was like, yeah. <laughs> That's what I thought. Why would you call in with a fake fart? Clout. Don't fake farts. You're not getting clout from it. <laughs> she just did. But not, but they're not known. No, but she got, she, she made it on the pod. So she got us. She tried to got and she, we got got. But trumpet got us. She got us. What if it was real and she's punching the air right now? She's probably like, dude, these girls are fucking dumb. Damn, these girls are hard to please when it comes to farts. We're like, fake. Fake. It was not real. That was an arm fart. Fuck you. Fake. We need people. We need a fart competition of a real one in human life. Yeah. Live farts. Live farts. Okay. Love you, though. Thank you so much Thank for you. calling. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, honeys. Alexa here. I am calling in with kind of a little bit of a story and a thank you. Um, I am in law school in Chicago, and I listen to you guys all the time. You keep me sane. You keep me happy, and you've become, like, my comfort people. Anyway, um, last weekend... I was out with a group of friends, like a big group, and one of my guy friends turned to me unprompted 
like we were joking, we were all joking around and in a crowd of people when I'm, we're all dressed up and we're out, he turns to me and he's like, you know, if you need a wing woman, let me know. And I had said no. And he was like, well, I can't fuck you. That'd be weird. And I was like, well, we're, we're not each other's type, so we're good there. And I was trying to make a joke of it. And he looked at me and he was basically like, well, you'd be my type, but you need to lose that 80 pounds. Um, and I freaked out and I just got up and walked away because I didn't want to give it my energy. But I came home and I cried my eyes out. I'm a tall girl. I'm 5'10". I'm easy to spot from far away. But uh, one of the things I wanted to say was thank you to the rock fuckers in the Facebook group. I know this is a long message, but I posted a little bit about that when I was really upset. And uh, yeah, and I had like 300 comments of just the rock fuckers giving me so much love and it pulled me out of what could have been like a really bad depression hole. So I just wanted to say thank you guys for creating the community that you create. And I love you. And I love listening to you. And I can't wait to see you when you're here in Chicago. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh, oh, yeah. Honeys. Man, that motherfucker's ego was just bruised. Couldn't take a little. Couldn't take a little rejection. Basically, that was his way of kind of hinting like, oh, we can't fuck. That'd be weird. Yeah, he wanted that pussy. Yeah, and the second he, you said, oh, we're not each other's types, he hurt because he was like, oh, I'm not your, which was fine of her to say, like, that's, you know, and he got butt hurt. He got pussy ass bitch butt hurt and thought, how can I throw shade? How can I, how can I make her hurt the way I'm feeling right now? So obviously you run to a woman's weight because people think that's going to, you know, and what a shitty person. To pick out a physical attribute from somebody from getting denied is so low like fuck that guy yeah and apparently and you know he would have fucked you he he fucking wants it but he made that clear and you turned you kind of turned him down and he got all butthurt that's what that is it's ridiculous and i don't think people realize what these small gestures can do to people no matter what it is just be nice yeah i think he did realize and he's a motherfucker i think he, he knew what he was doing yeah he it knew. seems like he gets rejected a lot kind of he's used to he's yeah. he coming back with those one-liners like mm-hmm. he gets rejected a lot yeah i had somebody when i was walking down the street say hey could i have your number and i was like no and he goes fuck you you're ugly anyway <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. It's like, oh, okay, but you didn't think I was 10 seconds ago. <laughs> well, why'd you want my number, you freaking yeah. cack sucker? Yeah, and that's why chicks are so scared to, like, say no or say, you know, like, because not all dudes. Some are cool. Some, a lot, you know, will take it fine. Like, oh, okay, with respect, but, man, you just. <sighs> it says a lot about people's character yeah. when if you turn them down or if you say something that maybe they don't want to hear, how they respond it just shows a lot big time big time so i would say that guy just all around probably isn't the Mm -hmm. the best right oh honey's that yeah she went home and cried that breaks my heart i'm sure that was that was mortifying and degrading and i'm sorry that happened to you the rock fuckers cheered her up though yeah shout out to the rock fuckers yeah that shout out to the rock fuckers if you're out there fucking rocks we love you, and you are amazing. Just want to say that. Lifting people up. Yeah. This community, the viral community, really does help out a lot of people to not feel alone or just exactly. to keep going. Exactly. So and I'm happy you. they lifted you up, honeys. Thank you for the support, honeys. We love you. Sorry, you guys. That was the last phone call. Oh. For real? Yeah. All oh right. Well, well, you got to do better. You got to let us know when it's the last call so we can be prepared, mentally prepared, and warm people. Ma'am. Right. Ma'am. Ma'am. Ma'am, do better. Ma'am. <laughs> um, all right. Okay. Well, thank you all for. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for tuning in. 
Yeah, thanks for tuning in weekly, for uh-huh. commenting. If you want to be Rock Fucker of the Week, go leave some comments uh-huh. or engage in our posts, share them, yep. whatever you need to do. Follow the Viral Podcast, follow Paige Jen, Chelsea Lynn. And, and please, go follow our slits only. We've got um, some, you know, viral pot, extra Viral Podcast content on there. Please go follow our slits only. Mine is on... Only fans page Jen and Chelsea's is on Patreon, Chelsea Lynn. Yeah. So so you're not confused there. Right. And don't forget to give us some juicy, juicy, juicy calls. Really wet. And four four two seven 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 three 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 one. And always remember that you are doing great. You're looking good. And, and fuck what everybody else thinks. Get ready. ready, ready, ready. We're going live.